Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Sports Updates Ghana and after scoring a brace against Leeds United to end his four months without a goal, Jordan Ayew has been reacting to his performance in Crystal Palace's 5-1 win over Leeds United. Well, we have all the updates and reaction from Jordan Ayew over here on Sports Updates Ghana. But before we get into it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Like, share, and don't forget to leave a comment. Let's get right into it. And Black Star striker Jordan Ayew, who scored a brace against Leeds United in Crystal Palace's 5-1 win, has been reacting to the goals that he scored. Well, according to the Ghanaian striker, he feels happy and he enjoyed scoring those two goals against Leeds United. Fun, congratulations. 5-1 victory today and two goals for you. Uh, how much did you enjoy the the performance oh well well very well really enjoyed it it's not often that it happens so when it happens you need to embrace it enjoy it and you know we're, we're pleased with, uh, with our performance we stuck to the game plan it wasn't easy at the beginning but you know there's a premier league you're playing against a good side so sometimes it's going to be difficult but you just need to get through it and when you have your moments you need to punish them well from there jordan are you also talked about how Roy Hudson has done so well to boost the confidence of the team to go on and win matches and according to him, he also gives praises to his former coach that is Patrick Vieira who did so well for the team but it's unfortunate that he had to depart due to the situation that the club found itself in and says that well, Patrick Vieira deserves a bit of applause for what he has been able to do but you cannot also overwrite what Roy Hoxton has been able to do for him. She spoke to the manager and he went out of his way to single out your performance today and, and how pleased he was with it. What what do you feel like you did well today? Other than obviously score two goals. Well, I just took to the game plan, you know, try and help the team stay in the shape, you know, track my man, you know, and the basic things basically and you know and after you get rewarded and I'm really, really happy today for for myself and for the team as well, you know, because it's not been easy and we've been, we've been a bit struggling, but since the manager came in, he's done a, a, a good job trying to get us back, to give us back the confidence, you know, to express ourselves and that's what we're doing, you know, not to, to forget about what Patrick did for the football club as well, because he's done, he's done a really, really good job and, you know, that's the industry and, you know, I want to thank him as well and this two goes goes to him as well because he was really good to me and he helped me a lot, you know. And you know, it's a, it's a shame but you know it's, it's it's part of the game, you know, and we thank him for everything he's done for us. So that was Jordan are you over there talking about his former coach Patrick Vieira as well as Roy Hoxton, who is currently the head coach of Crystal Palace and is helping them win the matches. Well, the player also went ahead to talk about how he managed to score the first goal against Leeds United. You know, it was a cross that was sent in by Michael Olisi and according to him, having players like Michael Olisi and his own Ghanaian compatriot that is Jeffrey Schlopp in the team, well, it tells you that the team is a very formidable one and if the assists are going to come in more like that, then they are going to win more matches. Now the first goal of yours was a lovely header from you and uh, the cross from Michael Elise as well. How good is it to, to be able to play when you've got someone like that feeding balls in? Really, really good. Um, you know, it's, it's not new. You know, he and, and Evs and Shropi and Edward, you know, it's enjoyable to play against play, with players like that. Who of us were always not here today, you know, uh, it's, it's enjoyable to play with players like that and, you know, Today is a really, really good day and we're all happy, but we know that there's still a long way to go and there's still eight games to go and we, we need to pick up more points. So that was Jordan Ayu talking about the fact that Crystal Palace have to win a lot of matches to stay in the Premier League this season. Crystal Palace, if they don't take care, they are going to end up relegated. So in the last eight matches, Crystal Palace wants to win more games and Jordan Ayu wants to be part of those players who will be scoring those goals. Well, in his final statement, Jordan Ayu said that when he scored the second goal, he felt it was an offside. That was why he was a little bit calm and all, but says that that is how the game has become. And if you score a goal, you'd have to wait and see if the VR will clear you off as a goal or not a goal. And the second goal, were you surprised that you had that much time to put it in the back of the net? Well, I thought I was offside, to be honest. Well, you know, 
now nowadays you just need to finish the action and after we'll see what happens and that's what i did great thanks jordan yeah. cheers so that was jordan ayuba there talking about the goal he scored against Leeds united in crystal palace's 5-1 win over Leeds united well that will be it for this episode of sports update ghana with your boy joseph Adamafio. let me know in the comment section what you think about jordan ayu scoring his third goal of the season for crystal palace and also getting two assists this current season so in all years five goal contributions in 30 league games well that will be it for this episode see you in the next one